Hi, my name is Rochelle Ireland, and this is my pattern review for McCall's 8033. It's one of my favorite dress patterns of all time. I loved it so much that I made two of these dresses, and I made one that's convertible. It can be the short version or the long version. But before we get into my review, here's some twirling footage of me wearing the dresses. So where do I start? There is so much to love about this pattern. It comes with cup sizes, it has pockets, it has this gorgeous fluted skirt with the lace panels. I mean, you can do lace, that's what I did for my versions. And it just swishes so beautifully when you turn. I love it also because it's a longer dress. And here in Canada where I live, we get a lot of colder weather. So oftentimes I want to wear a dress, but it's, it's cold out, so the, having some longer dresses in my wardrobe is perfect for our weather. So the first version is this version that I'm wearing right now. I made it in an embroidered chambray, which worked out really well for coordinating my lace panels with the embroidery on the fabric. And I love this in a chambray. I would totally recommend it because it's a little harder wearing than my other version, which I made in a rayon. I also found that using the sheer fabric on this dress, it was, I like the effect of it, but it was a little finicky. So the instructions in the pattern about how to do the skirt, that was probably the most difficult part of this pattern. The lace panels in this dress were the most difficult to deal with because the instructions for uh, constructing them only really just said like, put them, put them all together, sew them all together. Um, and they didn't really talk about the finishing. So on the one dress, I used a lace. On the other dress, I used a sheer fabric. And I did find that the corded lace on the red dress was a lot less finicky and more easy to deal with than the sheer fabric. The sheer fabric panels wanted to tear off the dress. So I had to go back in and repair it and do some understitching and do some work with my pinking shears and I finally got it to work. They are not falling off anymore. This is the underside of the dress and as you can see right here, I had to use my pinking shears and do some crazy double stitching in order to get the panels to stay on. So this dress is convertible in a number of different ways. Uh, when I first made the dress, I, I actually ended up losing a bunch of weight afterwards. And I love this dress so much that I didn't want to have to take, take it apart and take it in, you know. So I just added these little ties. I had some extra fabric for this tie piece. I just drafted a basic rectangle and, you know, stretched it out as, as long as I needed to make my ties. So for both dresses, I just added sort of a waist tie and that worked really well to just kind of cinch that waist. And that way, if I ever gain any more weight, I can just let it out. I can just tie the tie again. So that's kind of future proofed these dresses. The other thing I can tell you is the convertible skirt on the bottom of the red dress. It's super, super cute, but I've never actually worn it as the short version because I love the long version so much and we get such cold weather here that it's it's not very we don't get a lot of warm days so i find i don't wear it but if i was like running up and down the stairs and doing housework because i often wear dresses just around the house then it would be fabulous to just take the bottom skirt off and not trip over it as i'm you know busily busily going about my day so i thought i was all done but then when i was looking back at the footage i realized i barely talked about the convertible panel on the dress and how I did this because it's not in the pattern and I kind of had to do some mental figuring how to do it and considered buttons or a zipper or you know all kinds of options and eventually I just went down to my local fabric land and they had snap tape so 
some of the ladies there at the counter clued me in that they have this snap tape on rolls and you can cut the length that you need. So then I you know, prepared my panels and measured carefully around the panel, make sure I get a little bit extra so I have definitely enough to go around the, the bottom panel of the dress. And I just sewed straight lines, you know, sewed the tape on the hem. So all the panels that are um, convertible is hemmed at the top. And I didn't have to hem the scalloped edge of the corded lace. I just kind of hid the snap tape in behind there and just sewed it on, you know, in black so that it would be hidden. It worked out great. I think I put the male side on the bottom panel. So the pokey outy snap bit on the bottom panel and then I put the flat, the female side of the, the snap tape on the upper edge so that when I wear it without the panel, I just have these flat, flat little snaps, you know, not a pokey thing into my leg. And it worked so well. I will definitely do that again. Steal my trick. Go check your local fabric store and ask them about snap tape. Uh, I saw it in black and I saw it in white. I don't know, maybe there are other colors out there, but uh, yeah, there's no reason why you can't have both versions. Just make one dress and you get, for the price of one dress, you get two. You get a short one and a long one. I will say this dress is one of the most comfortable dresses. If, yeah, it actually is the most comfortable dress that I own. So yeah, I have future plans to make another one. I made a size 14. I graded out to a size 20 waist. I did the AB cup size. The, the red dress has a corded lace for the little pa inserted panels. Uh, it's out of rayon and this blue version is um, out of blue chambray which is embroidered with black embroidery which coordinates with the sheer panels that I put on this dress. So for this dress I, I'm a bust size 30 uh, when I originally made this dress and a waist size 34 inches so I made a size 14 and I graded out to a size 20 waist which worked rather well I did a muslin which I found the front the whole front of the dress fit right out of the package which never happened never happened um, I just had to do some minor tweaks on the back muslin because I have a narrow back and I have a short torso so I just did those minor tweaks and I was ready to rock. It was so easy to fit this and it was just such pure sewing joy is what it was. So yeah, I highly recommend this pattern and I have plans to make another one in the near future if I can squeeze it in. And yeah, thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed my, my ideas for making dresses future-proof and convertible uh, so that they can you can get more wear out of them in your wardrobe and that they can last through you know all the weight fluctuations that may be happening. Oh.